I'm Cheryl Kabluna of the BC Sustainable Energy Association, and I'm here with Jason Wong of uh, Solar Earth Technologies. Jason is a research scientist and chairman of Solar Earth Technologies. Thanks for being here today. Thank you, Jerry. Um, solar Earth Technologies is donating solar modules to a project here at Thompson, University, Thompson Rivers University in Kamloops, British Columbia. The project is called the Solar Compass Project, led by Dr. Michael Mehta, and it involves installing solar modules into the pavement in front of the Arts and Education building right behind us. The solar technology is designed so that people can walk and bike on it and maybe even drive light vehicles on it. So Jason, you and three others were, uh, three others from Solar Earth Technologies were here in April to introduce our project team to the technology and let us meet one another. It's October now. What has changed since your April visit? Well, thank you. Yeah. There are many things changed. Uh, well, the most significant part is uh, we are, during the last five to six months, we are advancing our product technology from the previous generation that we call the second generation, which is this tempered glass based packaging technology, to this what we call 2.5 generation technology, which is using a special polymer is a very special chemical material to package the solar cells. So in this, just to compare apple to apple, there are many advantages of this new version versus this previous version. First, it's much lighter. And secondly, is using mu much more advanced material that can be well adopted to temperature change to other climate changes and it's much stronger although it's thicker it's much stronger and there are many other advantages to mention the second thing we have done since the last five months is uh, we are working closely with the standardization bodies of various the provincial the federal part the most important one is the intertech which is international wide standard uh, for because this is a brand new product industry to make it uh, adopted like a, in the mass we have to make sure that it's safe it produces electricity and it protects the environment all those considerations we cannot say it on our own we must get third-party qualification another good significant uh, standardization is with the BC Hydro. When you produce electricity and hook up to the BC Hydro grid system, they want to make sure that this electricity generated is safe, is reliable, is predictable. And of course, in the, the, our third uh, progress during the last five months or so, is uh, we work with the universities in British Columbia, in SFU, UPC, and other universities and colleges to really advance our material science, our process uh, engineering, really to an even more advanced level. Thank yeah. you. So uh, when do you <coughs> think the installation might happen? Well, our original plan is uh, end of August which is overdue and uh, because we are kind of uh, we just want to deliver the most advanced version to the TRU uh, Sonar Compass project. So our next target would be the winter semester. Uh, fortunately, uh, the university gave us the permission to uh, postpone. So we are fully committed to deliver by end of April. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, this is a kind of new product testing. I've been curious how you happen to be here in Canada and specifically in the interior of British Columbia. Why here? Well, it's a long, long story. I was born in China. I was educated in Regina, Saskatchewan for my like a master degree, my PhD degree. And I moved, the whole family relocated to 
uh, British Columbia in 1996, so that's exactly 20 years ago. And I was, uh, uh, I like the Okanagan Valley. I was here many times, but there's a event that make me make this decision is uh, last year, we have a uh, provincial officers, they, when they saw this technology, they said Okanagan is the, this area, the central BC area is the most sunny area of the whole province, especially compared to the lower mainland. So they encouraged me to come to Kamloops for the first trial. And this is uh, my long time like overdue dream that uh, I want to do something like uh, uh, that is uh, sustainable, renewable here. So that's basically the motivation behind. And we choose here, uh, there are many other reasons. We have a, a close collaboration like, with the University of uh, UBC um, Okanagan campus, which is just uh, 200 like, uh, kilometers away from us. So there are all other geographic advantages that, uh, well, personally, I love the life here. Uh -huh. Yeah, thank you. Oh, oh, that's a great answer. Yeah, thank yeah. You. yeah. Um, there are some challenges with having solar technology at ground level where it's not oriented toward the sun in particular and uh, needing a, a really um, strong protective layer. But you knew those things from the start and must think this is worth doing because of some exciting opportunities. Can you describe what you hope to see with this technology in the next couple of decades? Yes, uh, this is the question I uh, heard almost every day when I promote this to audience people. The first reaction is, it's ridiculous if you put the solar panel on the ground and the people walk on it and you have those vehicles driving on it. How come it is possible? I think it is possible. Like a, a year ago, we have a much, much less advanced technology than today. At that time, even our team members they were suspicious whether this is uh, doable. But today, we all get this confidence with more advanced versions. And also our audiences are more like, accepted by, uh, by this idea. I think uh, uh, we are now working on our next generation technology. I'm pretty sure that uh, our next generation will give us much higher conversion rate much higher electricity productivity and also more adaptive to the environment to the landscape yes. and and well what do you want to see it do in in like the long term uh, well i have a big dream i want to become uh, the first one to pave most of the canadians road surfaces <laughs> with the renewable material that produce clean energy. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> yes, yeah. Wow. Well, it's not my own, it's not this individual, it's not this company alone. We need the whole community to support. We, we all need that. Yes, right yeah. 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 All right, well, all, all of us with the Solar Compass team are, are so excited and pleased to be part of this project. Yeah. Um, th thanks very much for coming, Jason. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Yeah.